Um, my passion lies in eradicating my passion lies in eradicating workplace mistreatment and specifically in eradicating how Latinx farm workers are mistreated in the United States. I was raised in a largely agricultural town, Reedley, California. Children in Reedley are taught from an early age that our small town is the world's fruit basket. Growing up in the space where there is a spotlight on agricultural production made me aware of the differences between the Latinx population and the white population in my town. Frankly speaking, Latinx people worked in the fields, picking and packaging the produce, while white people owned and profited from the farms that exploited this Latinx labor. You do not need to travel to Reedley to, uh, to be aware of this discrepancy. White people are seen as farmers across media contexts, while farm workers are rarely seen or discussed. This is clear in the way that farm workers were largely left out of COVID-19 assistance, while large uh, ag companies reaped many benefits. Farm workers are rendered invisible. Here in Michigan, there are countless migrant labor camps, but you would not notice them because they are purposefully hidden behind fields and in rural areas. You also wouldn't know because ads that discuss products made possible by farm workers, like almond milk, orange juice, and other agricultural products never show Latinx farm workers. This invisibilization is what I'm currently delving into in my research. Invisible work has been discussed among gender scholars before. The term first appeared in reference to the invisible work white women were doing in the home, work that went unnoticed and unpaid. Since that term first appeared, it's transcended disciplines and research in psychology examines invisibility and hypervisibility in the workplace. Workplace invisibility is linked to, to disengagement from work, low self-esteem and poor well-being. Unfortunately, work in psychology has only examined this phenomenon in traditional brick and mortar settings. And so people like farm workers whose workplace context can shift every day have been largely left out of research on how invisibility is operating in their workspace. Farm workers have distinct experiences due to their ethnicity, class, and legal status, among other things that may make their experiences with invisibilizing treatment distinct from that of people who work in traditional brick and mortar settings. In a survey study, I will explore the ways that farm workers are experiencing invisibility. I'm going to use a survey method with a measure that asks farm workers to respond to items like, I am ignored at work, and I feel that I am expendable, and asks them to note how much they relate to each of these items. The hope is that these items will assess how often farm workers are being invisibilized. In addition to an invisibility measure, I will assess other measures that may be related to experiencing invisibility, like self-esteem and pride in their work. Farm workers in the United States provide the country and parts of the world with food, and we come across the literal fruits of their labor every day. They deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and this can start with recognizing who they are and eliminating the ways that they are made invisible in their workspace. It is my hope to continue to have these discussions with people so that farm workers are not invisible and their experiences and contributions are no longer ignored. Thank you, everyone.